Hello and welcome. Here we will see the goal of Web API routing, types of routing, convention based routing, and attribute routing. Finally, routing variations. The goal of Web API routing is routing coming HTTP requests to a action method on a controller. And imagine that we have a server, controllers, and actions, and we have this route. So this URL will match with the PlayStation controller and the launch bomb. And Trump says my Web API works and CIA doesn't even know. It supports two types of routing. The first one convention based routing where we have to register a template okay like this one and then we can fire this action with this template or the second one we have a attribute routing where we have to register this line config.map http attribute routes and then we can configure the attribute where we have the route to fire this action method if web api doesn't find a route for the request it will give you a 404 error page not found in this presentation i will not do any code i will just show code on the slides but i will leave a link in the description for you to download the source code of this project not the project just the source code and you will have the global ASAC CS. it's an important file where we configure the register this register method is here in the configuration folder my configuration where we register the routes and then the three controllers important here are the playstation playstation 2 and playstation 3 where i have the examples okay so let's talk about convention based routing it uses templates to find the controller and the action to execute and at least we must have one route to handle http requests as we saw before we have this example where we register this template it has the name default api the route template is api controller action and id where the id is optional okay and attention these are called placeholders one important thing here the controller and the action are special placeholders the id is the parameter id an important thing to notice in this statement is at least one route template, which means that we can have multiple routes. We have this example, the second template, that is named PlayStation API V1. The route template is API V1 and it has the controller with the value PlayStation and the action is Bomb V1. So we have this URI. Let's see a second example. We have the PlayStation API V2 with the route template API V2 and we have a placeholder for the action and the controller will be PlayStation. So these routes all these address. Actually it routes all the actions of the controller named PlayStation. Okay, if you notice we don't need to say the controller in our URI, okay? Just the action, okay? Because the action is a placeholder. Let's see the third example, PlayStation API V3. The route template is API V3 and we have a placeholder for the controller and also we have a default for the controller that is the PlayStation. The action will be the bomb V2. So this means that this URI API V3 will map the controller PlayStation the action bomb v2 and also because the controller has a placeholder here we can handle these two okay so here we fall in our first problem these will not map here it will map to the first the default it will think that the controller is the v3 and the action is the playstation or playstation 2 the id is optional right so what we have to do to solve this problem the first option is remove the template the first template so it will map with no problem 
and we have a second option that is reverse the order here okay so now we learn that the order of the templates as we declare the templates on the configuration is important order is important okay you may be attempt to try something like this having this route api v4 and playstation and the action will be launch kim jong yung bomb we have this address right but this will not work why because it will fall into these so it will think that the v4 is the controller we don't have any controller called v4 it will think the action is playstation again we don't have any action that is called playstation and the id will be launch kim jong yun bomb okay so this can be removed and we think well it will work but again it will not work why because this is not the controller this playstation is not the controller okay this is a literal pet okay it has the action not the controller okay so if it doesn't have the controller it can't route anything okay now let's talk about attribute routing it uses attributes to specify routes and can be applied to any controller and action you have to register as i said before with this line config.map.http attribute routes and after that we can use this as a route also we can configure multiple routes for the same action in this example we have two api ar playstation launch bomb b and api ar playstation 2 launch bomb b okay so these two will map for this action okay and attention avoid having routes that can mislead you because we have two controllers one is called playstation and the second is playstation 2 and these are on playstation controller okay so this can mislead you or other people to think this is to other controller another alert is for example if you have the same route configured in two different controllers the playstation 2 and the playstation controller okay so in this case the web api doesn't know which one is the right one avoid to do something like this because you will have problems and notice here the problem is not the name of the method okay is not the name of the method is the route that we have configured api ar duplicated in controllers and this one have api ar duplicated in controllers okay it's not the name of the method here the next example we have a collision between actions in the same controller because both have the same route this will give you problems again it doesn't know which one is the right one i just used literal paths okay but it also can have placeholders like this one we have api request bomb name and size and notice that we doesn't have to have the same order as parameters in the method okay the size comes first in the method and then we have the name can we have the same route using placeholders and the answer again is it doesn't know which one is the right one like in the literals you can add constraints and default values like these the first one has a constraint where we say that the size has a mean value of a hundred and the second one has a default value for the size 5000 if we try to reach this address abc10 it will give you a page not found because the mean value is 100 and imagine what if we try something like this remember the previous scenario didn't work we add the same path and it didn't work in this case we just have this difference the size as a default value of 5000 surprise surprise this one works it will match the first one even if we switch the order and this is a subset of the rules that web api applies to find the right action method also you can check the link in the description of this video to know more about this topic okay and the first thing that we it will check is 
the lit route segments, then it will check for route parameters with constraints, and then it will check for route parameters without constraints. So the first one has a constraint, so it goes first. But we can change this if we add the order attribute. In this case, if the first one have the order equals to 2 and the second order equals to 1. So the second one will be the match. Also, we can have prefixes like this one. The PlayStation 3 controller have the prefix PS3 and the bomb has this bomb. Okay, so we have this address PS3 bomb. Now let's see another example where we have uh, attribute routing API v1 and a convention based routing API v1. We have the controller with the value PlayStation. Action is bomb v1, so it will match this action. So what will happen here? The answer is this one will match because we have this configuration. And if we switch this, if this goes here and the first the convention based routing goes up, it will match this action. Okay? So here again order is important when we are doing our configurations. And to finalize, let's talk about routing variations. The first tip is to allow multiple HTTP verbs or even those that the API doesn't know about. We can use the attribute accept verbs and we insert the verbs that we want. Okay? The second one is to override the action name we can use action name in this case mini bomb where the name of the real name of the action is the great bomb okay and if we want to prevent a method to behave like a uh, action we can use the attribute non action okay so this la bomba doesn't is not a action this is the end and as always thank you for watching